native snake species in the UK are all unique looking and can be distinguished easily by visible features. These are the grass snake, the adder and the smooth snake. Because none of these species are actually native to Ireland, I'm going to be referring to them as British snakes for the rest of this video. I'm going to start by looking at the adult males and females of each species, and then I'm going to look at the distinguishing features of each of the juveniles. Subscribe to Ferro Forest to keep learning about UK nature. The length of adult British snakes is a defining characteristic and can help you determine which snake you're looking at. The longest snake in the UK is the grass snake, which can reach up to a metre and a half in length. If you see a snake that's this long, it's likely to be a grass snake that you're looking at. By contrast, we've got the shortest snake in the UK, which is the smooth snake. This species grows to a maximum of about 70 centimetres in length. In between the two of those, we've got the adder, which grows up to about 80 centimetres in length. For all three of these species, it's going to be the females that are going to be growing to these maximum lengths. Males tend to grow much shorter, so for a grass snake, males tend to reach only about a metre in length. For both the smooth snake and the adder, the males tend to only reach about 60 centimetres in length. British snake species can be best identified by their colours and markings, which are all unique and have a few different features that can help with identification if you know what you're looking for. The grass snake is typically an olive green colour, although this can vary between shades of brown, grey and green. They have a distinctive light patch around the neck, which is usually white, cream or yellow. In males, it tends to be more vibrant yellow or orange, while in females, it's usually a less vibrant yellow. This light mark is bordered at the rear by black neck markings. The black markings continue down the length of the grass snake's body, with most individuals having black bars along their sides and some also having small black spots along their back. Their underside is a paler colour with black checkered markings. Our adders display fairly obvious sexual dimorphism. This means you can tell the difference between males and females by visual appearances, such as size and markings. These differences tend to be subtle in sexually dimorphic snake species, but the coloration of adders is a clear tell to their sex. The female adder is usually copper or brown in colour, with a dark brown zigzag pattern along her back. The male adder is usually a silvery grey colour, with a black zigzag pattern down his back. The difference in colours is most evident in springtime, when the males have shed their skin and show off their fresh new scales beneath. It's thought that these brighter scales help reduce how vulnerable the males are to predators while they search for females. The rapid movement of their black and white bands induces flicker fusion in predators, causing their vision to be unsteady and allowing the snakes to get away. Smooth snake males and females can also be distinguished by their base colouring. The males tend to be a reddish-brown colour with orange throats, while the females are usually more grey and have cream throats. Both sexes tend to have faint markings running along their backs in the shape of a dark pair of spots, although these are sometimes fused to look more like a bar shape. They have a darker stripe that runs along the side of their head, from their nose, then through their eye, towards the back of their head. On the top of their head is a dark pattern often described as a butterfly-shaped mark. Smooth snakes can be easily distinguished from adders and grass snakes by the smooth shape of their scales that gives them their common species name. Their scales are not keeled, which means they don't have a ridge running along the centre of each scale, whereas both grass snakes and adders have keeled scales, so do have that ridge. There are many different theories floating around as to why some snakes have keeled scales and some do not, with a lot of the theories focusing on ideas such as the snakes being active at different times of the day, the types of habitats the snakes live in, and also how much the reduction in light reflection could potentially bring benefits to the snake species. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any specific reasons as to why smooth snakes do not have keeled scales in any of my reading. But given the fact that all of our native species have such different lifestyles, I wouldn't be surprised if the reasoning was a combination of all of the theories that I've just mentioned. In researching snake colours, it became clear to me how much we still need to find out about why our three species have such different colours. Although there was no definitive answer in my research, it's likely due to a combination of selective pressures. A selective pressure is any factor outside of the individual animal that causes specific appearances to have either benefits or disadvantages to that individual's survival compared to a different appearance. One example of a selective pressure that British snakes may experience 
is the habitat they are found in. I will delve deeper into British snake habitats in a future video, but all three species have a unique core habitat they are found in. As predators, they need to be able to camouflage or blend in with the habitat in order to avoid detection by their prey. By living in different habitats, each of our snake species will have a different coloration that best allows them to blend into these habitats, ensuring that they have a higher success of catching food. Additionally, the type of prey our snake species prefer is different for each one, and so may be acting as a selective pressure on their colouring. Different prey species will have different ways to detect predators, and so predators around the world are known to have a variety of markings to help throw off their prey's detection method. This may be also contributing to the different appearances of our native snakes. All three of our snake species can be melanistic, which means their genetic makeup could cause them to be significantly darker or even entirely black. Melanism has three proposed benefits in snake species. It could help with heat absorption while the snakes are basking, giving them a bit more energy. It could also help them avoid detection by predators that visually hunt for their prey. Or finally, it could be linked to snakes growing to a larger size, which would make them better able to fight for access to mates. By far, the majority of melanistic records come from the sightings of adders, followed up by small numbers of grass snakes and then smooth snakes. It has been suggested that the low numbers of melanistic smooth snakes are related to the fact that smooth snakes in general tend to be quite rare and elusive, so you won't generally see the melanistic snakes, whereas the low number of grass snakes that are melanistic is more related to the fact that the melanism would give a disadvantage to them in their active hunting strategy. If you want to learn more about that active hunting strategy, then make sure you check out the video I've previously made about British snake hunting strategies. Another distinguishing feature that British snakes have is their pupil shape. Adders have vertical slits for their pupils, whereas smooth snakes and grass snakes have circular shaped pupils. There's research being done into why different snakes have different pupil shapes, but it's not fully clear yet what the reason is. There are, however, trends within the wider animal kingdom that our native snakes seem to line up with. Animals with circular shaped pupils tend to have much more active foraging styles and are awake during the daytime. This lines up with our grass snakes. It doesn't so much line up with our smooth snakes because smooth snakes are generally considered to be more ambush predators. However, once the prey species has been detected by the smooth snake and it's close enough, the snake does then switch to a more active hunting style to be able to catch up with and subdue their prey. This active switch might be where the circular pupil benefits are coming into play. Adders have that vertical slit in their eye. Animals with vertical slit shaped pupils tend to be active during both the day and the night and are ambush predators. Adders are ambush predators and although they're mostly active during the day, in southern parts of their range they have been found to be active during the night. The reason that the vertical slit shape is associated with these animals and could be beneficial is because during the night the animals still need to be able to see but during the day they need to have the reduced glare of the sun which the vertical slits allow and then also the vertical slit shape breaks up the circular shape of an eye so that animals that are their prey species can't detect them so easily when they're sat in ambush waiting and watching. As with adult British snakes juveniles can be easily told apart by their appearances both grass snakes and smooth snakes are born about 15 centimetres long. Grass snakes look a lot like the adult counterparts, but with a much more defined black and yellow collar. Smooth snakes also look like their adult counterparts, but with more defined black markings. For adders, these are usually born at about 17 centimetres long, and they're brick red in colour. Have you ever seen a snake in Britain? Let me know about it in the comments and check out some of my other videos to learn even more about UK wildlife.